It's been an incredible NATO experience, uh, but I'm incredibly lucky and, and proud and honoured to come on the Desert Rats, and here we are in Eastern Europe. A lot of work's gone in to get us here uh, from across the brigade, but we're here, we're operating, we're at the front, uh, and we're getting some really, really good training out of it. Really excited about uh, crossing the Vistula tomorrow, a brigade river crossing, uh, using the British M3 rigs and Polish and French uh, bridging assets. And then we'll bounce on from here, another road march, uh, quite a significant distance, stretching all the bits of the brigade. The exercise has allowed us to train with the other armies in the VJTFL. Uh, the soldiers and officers in the brigade have really enjoyed working with our, particularly our Polish, our Spanish, the Albanians, the Turkey. Uh, it's been a fabulous training opportunity and there's not many chances you get to conduct a brigade river crossing across such a major uh, waterway. And then we're looking forward to at the end uh, doing some combined arms multinational live firing. I think it's the, it's the distances and the scale of the exercise. Also operating at reach has enabled us to use all the elements of the BCT. So whether it's from the Royal Engineers improving routes, uh, the air defenders working against uh, German jets a couple of days ago, UAV operators working with our allies and, and tracking other nations' equipment as they move across the uh, the battlefield or the training areas. The medics, the, we've had a Roll 2 Basic, we've had a Roll 2 Enhanced out here. So all elements of the BCT have been able to train and we've been able to bring it all together um, at reach from the UK in some reasonably demanding weather conditions, all for the benefit of the, the Desert Rats. It matters twofold. First, we, we're demonstrating uh, British leadership in NATO. You know, the Desert Rats are leading the VJTFL Brigade, NATO spearhead. What it also does is improves all of us as soldiers. And just the frictions of operating in someone else's country, someone else's procedures, bringing it all back together to the NATO doctrine and that sort of shared way of doing business. Um, but it's brought us all on. We have all improved in all of our jobs uh, by being here and you don't get to have all of the frictions unless you do it with all the troops.